okay uh yeah other than the tips like uh, those were like great uh, on par with like all the mentors expectations and everything i just wanted to like take a step back uh, just uh, like uh, go through some of the like major major points that i think uh, folks should have before uh, like thinking about gsoc or uh, getting into the getting into the open source mindset as i would Uh, so yeah, here I'm like presenting open source two opportunities. Uh, this will be the brief agenda uh, that I'm like going to uh, go through about. Uh, so yeah, uh, yes. Yeah. So about me, like I'm uh, currently a third year uh, CS undergrad uh, from India. Uh, I'm a full stack developer uh, who just enjoys working with startups and open source. Uh, I was a past C soccer uh, uh, past year only. Uh, I worked with uh, Rohan Lekhwani, my mentor, and the Rocket Chat team to build Embed Chat. Uh, in addition to that project, I had con- I had also contributed to some of the other uh, RC projects. Uh, so yeah, going through my journey, like I when I like started, uh, like when I sat down and thought about like what I should write about, like there are like. endless things uh, that i could come up, come up with but yeah these were like some of the like major things uh, like uh, when i started uh, like contributing like rc was so welcoming like uh, singly sir and uh, devdurt sir and everyone uh, around the around our, uh, the community were like super like uh, they welcomed me and uh, helped me uh gave me some ideas and helped me to like progress through my career also like um, i like i had uh, previously contributed a lot so i after that i became a top contributor gsoc this is pre gsoc i uh, was even getting some freelance work like uh, people will approach approach me and uh, say that uh, hey we are using rc for this can you do this uh, we are making a shop and can you integrate rc within that shop or something like that so like uh, this was also like pre gsoc the fact that i'm like highlighting here is uh, it really doesn't matter that uh, uh, the folks uh, get into gsoc or not but it just matters the matters about the like concept and concepts and Uh, how you approach uh, like things in coming up in your life so after gsoc i also i was like also getting approached uh, by some other uh, clients or see and um, things with uh, whatsapp integration or something so yeah that was that uh, also like when i when i created my gsoc project i found out like Uh, a google api script was breaking like this that was a like huge project so i like poked it and uh, like uh, fixed it and published the new version so like uh, so we'll come to that uh, it's like being used a lot so yeah i think i can go on and on but the major thing is i learned a lot like uh, yeah this pa- paragraph that i want to highlight here like uh, you are like getting free mentorship code reviews folks who love like would love uh, to see you succeed and everything based on that so uh, you'll you'll like feel the energy when you like uh, get into open source and uh, start contributing uh, yeah so this was a project that i like previously like the previous year i uh, contributed to in gsoc so it has like gotten over 30 Uh, stars 80, 83 folks 18 plus contributors uh npm downloads also uh why i'm like mentioning it like we'll come to come to that bit later uh personal learnings like yeah so uh these were also like very beneficial for me like uh i learned to write uh, so much better code like like i would suggest that uh, if you if you want to learn code and if you want to like learn it uh, from your heart or something you must look into others code also like 
you you should go through go go around and see how some senior folks are approaching it or some best practices or read blogs around it right so uh, i i enjoyed a lot like even now when i am like working in internships like people say that uh, i write a lot better code than other interns and everyone so that's a very fulfilling thing to like uh, here other than that like like i really understood the meaning of documentation and learning about how uh, like it doesn't really, like uh, the main focus of gsoc like having a proposal beforehand is like you exploring and you learning about the things that you will implement in the near future i think that's what uh, software development is all about so uh, first first of all you come come up with an idea then you uh, just highlight the points that you want to implement then you go into the implementation details then you write code and then you can like i, I guess produce a better uh, solution um, in my opinion uh, yeah so i wrote a lot of blogs like my mentor suggested me to do that and uh, like i uh, like rapidly reached a wider audience and everyone was like oh, great like appreciated me for uh, the things I, I was doing so yeah this is one of the most important skills that uh, we should have uh, as of now i think uh, that is communication skills like uh, i remember like i uh, i was i was taken up into rc core community group and the first thing i did was like i uh, i entered and i was i straight went into writing the code and when i wrote the code i saw that that was not uh, what the mentors were expecting so uh, then i thought like uh, yeah it's not about just uh, running around and uh, like proving yourself to uh, you are like code master or something but it's like uh, how well you can demonstrate your ideas and implementation that you are uh, going to implement or something other than that like i uh, uh, this is one of the things i love about open source like i love to uh, like i learn to work in independently and i like uh, even if i am like working on some other projects uh, as of now I, I like to like take complete ownership of it and uh, like it's not about job it's not about like you are doing a job but it's all about like you are pushing yourself uh, like in the growth mindset like you are trying to like uh, have like you are just growing as an individual only so yeah these are the opportunities uh, yeah uh, these are like some points uh, other like you can get a lot of other points also like but uh, here i just want to like highlight some points of why open source can help you like uh get ahead of all the other crowd uh first of all i think you will stand out uh, your work is in open so uh, it's like you can just produce it right away you don't uh, need to like sh uh, show or um, like make someone like understand that you did this uh, this way or that way it's like all open source uh, yeah and if you love uh, like if you contribute to open source i think you already love engineering uh, because open source takes a lot of patience and effort and time also uh, yeah this so this will like enhance you quite a bit uh, yeah and after that you'll gain an awesome confidence like you'll have that zeal in you that you can uh, you can when you like see that you are able to perform and you can uh, do some tasks that are uh, assigned to you like you like feel like you are a magician or something after that like uh, yeah and after that like if you're uh, after that your communication is 100x now so uh, interviews or any talks or like sessions are like a breeze so you like 
these superheroes, uh, something in your college, uh, as rise and something. But yeah, the curiosity mindset. This is, uh, this is, I think this is the whole point uh, of this presentation that I'm like currently trying to achieve. Like, uh, just think yourself as a learner. So don't just uh, runner. Like, don't uh, go for outcomes. Like, do it for the journey itself. So uh, it will be like a great learning process uh, like which open source provides you at the end of the day yeah it's passion that's that will determine the heights you reach yeah and some other points uh why i this this is the package that i built which got a lot of uh, highlight during my gsoc period only uh these were like some of the pull requests i made and uh, yeah, so this is the first point that I'm trying to make here. Like, if you if you can uh, like code as of now, like if you want to, but in the future, but you can't, uh, you can still raise issues, right? So if you uh, if you are helping someone, like open source is all about helping everyone, and uh, like it's a win-win situation, uh, as Gabriel said earlier in this uh, talk. Uh, yeah, so you can even uh, uh, like post issues or everything. Like you can ask questions uh, that and give, give feedback and everything. The, those are also counted as contributions. Uh, yeah, and like when you uh, try to like um, when you make some contributions and you see your code live in action, you you get the best feeling ever uh yeah and the this is also a great point like uh yeah you might be from you might be from antarctica or uh, arctic region or any like any corner of the world you can still connect with your like-minded folks uh in the open source area so when i uh, when i joined and when i started like i made a lot of friends and uh who are like still friends now and uh, we just hang around, talk about architectures and other stuff. So that's really amazing thing. Uh, yeah, and yeah, and this point is about like, uh, you might be better at front end, someone might be better at back end. Uh, who knows, like uh, two years down the road, you might also like uh, connect and build something incredible. So it's like, uh, it provides a great networking opportunity and everything. So yeah. Uh, I think that was it. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Uh, that was it. But other than this, like uh, any questions, any feedback, or anything, uh, feel free to hit me up. Like, I'm always open for everything. But yeah, and about the tips and everything, I feel like I have given enough, uh, like, uh, handling like the calls and everything. But yeah. Thanks.